Uh, hello everyone. My name is Shino Iwami from NEC Corporation. Today, I'd like to talk to you about data science for OSPO, OSS trend found from developer activities. First, I, uh, I explain the background. Why does OSPO use data science? This figure uh, comes from the evolution of the open source program office, which is published by Tudu Group. At the st stage zero, people start to use OSS on demand. When those people become aware of the legal programs with OSS, they reach the entrance to the OSPO swamp. It's the stage one. Eventually, uh, eventually some organi organizations will start thinking about using open source, strate open source strate strategically. That is uh, stage four. In reality, there is no strategy based solely on open source, but rather there is the use of open source as part of an organization's technology, technology strategy. Organizations can also choose a closed strategy instead of uh, an open strategy. Now, from a strategy, uh, sorry, uh, now from a technology management perspective, there are trends internationally toward evidence based policy making and uh, data driven management. This is a trend toward making important decisions based on evidence rather than intuition. They are uh, expected to fulfill accountability for decisions and uh, reduce risk. On the other hand, the evidence is not perfect. For example, in the event, event of a disaster, decisions may need to be made even if there, there is insufficient evidence. If you pay attention to the shortcomings of evidence, there are many useful points, such as being able to make automatic judgment based on conditions and making work more e efficient. In the previous slide, uh, I mentioned the term technology man management. In this slide, let's first look at the positioning of technology management. The upper right uh, corner shows the, sec uh, the sections of an uh, academic society related to management called a a AOM. In bold, uh, it means here, uh, Technology and innovation management is a section of factors that uh, OSPO should incorporate, in, incorporate. Ideas of technology management are generally available to other engineering and other sciences. Meanwhile, uh, the left side shows the section of computer science from SCM. As you know, open source model is uh, one field of computer science and technology uh, and technology management strategy office locates at an uh, intersection uh, technology management and uh, 
computer science. Thus, data science for OSPO must use methodologies in technology management. The left, left figure uh, is an, an analytics of robotics in the field of science with clustering and uh, other data science methodologies. Uh, in the OSS field, the larger project is Chaos Project. Uh, since two thousand seventeen, and uh, it's held a hackathon at uh, an uh, international conference, MSR, in two thousand twenty-two. MSR is a shortened name of Mining Software Repositories. Red Hat published. Uh, the network analysis about the in-company OSS community in 2019. As shown in the center figure, uh, NEC published an uh, analysis with co-occurring keyword network and uh, overview the fields of OSS. I explain it later again. In order to get hint from the existing analysis, next I compare histories between uh, science and OSS. In science, metrics start uh, to uh, make indicator, overview, detect uh, emerging technologies, and forecast. Forecasting is for continuous improvement of technologies and uh, distribu distributive innovations and uh, expected to, to jump up far from forecasting. The uh, metrics of OSS rapidly catch up with metrics of science. The causes are improvement of hardware and uh, hardware ca capabilities and uh, popularity of machine learning. Now, I think OSS is uh, at the stage of overviewing and uh, detecting emerging uh, technologies. This and this. In NEC, several Several analyses has been prepared to capture the status of OSS. Today, I introduce three analyses. The first analysis is OSS categorization by clustering co-occurring keyword networks. At OSSJ 2022, last year, I introduced a clustering methodology using the Ruben algorithm. In this session, uh, I will introduce the result using InfoMap algorithm. The explanation on, the, on this slide may be too detailed. Uh, to explain the methodology simply, a network is built and uh, cluster, uh, clustering algorithm is applied. On the process, ori original ideas are incom incorporated into network building, and uh, different algorithms can be applied. When selecting an algorithm, I am careful to select one uh, that automatically set the number of cluster clusters. This is the result of the last November uh, by InfoMap algorithm. This data uh, came, uh, came active OSS that have commit records on uh, GitHub between 2020 and two 2022. Uh, largest, the largest cluster is about uh, JavaScript, that one, 
and related language. The second clusters is about、uh, machine learning. And、uh, the third cluster is about、uh, cloud computing. Green one,、uh, about Kubernetes and、uh, Docker. And、uh, so this result continue、uh, uh, about 20, 200 clusters. So, next, watching the、uh, rank shift, yellow cluster about、uh, Java and、uh, microservices. And、uh, orange cluster, orange cluster, which one?、Uh, orange cluster, this one.、Uh, orange cluster about database is two cluster、uh, growing. Uh, the red cluster about、uh, C and、uh, C and、uh, game seems to decline. It is normal to watch top clusters, so let's check lower rank clusters. We can find current temporal topics about.、Uh, COVID-19 here and、uh, log4j and、uh, another case is、uh, uh, quantum computing and、uh, drone, drone here, <laughs> drone. Maybe, maybe、uh, future big market. So. And interesting thing, interesting cluster is、uh, this one.、Uh, this is medical OSS like bioinformatics and、uh, genom uh, genomi uh, genomics. Okay, sequencing. Okay. Using data science, we can gain human understandable information like this. So, next,、uh, it was revealed that the differences of these two algorithms,、uh, this year is IFMAP,、uh, and、uh, the last year use Ruben.、Uh, uh, the differences of these two algorithms impact on size and、uh, number of clusters. So, So, when you watch smaller cluster, clusters, InfoMap algorithm may be better. Among smaller clusters, we can find emerging OSS fields. The second analysis is about OSS shift、uh, based on developer movement. For this analysis, I explain the substitute goods and、uh, complementary goods from eco economics. The substitute goods、uh, h a s a relation between tea and coffee.、Uh, when, uh, when one is consumed, another is not consumed.、Uh, the complementary goods.、Uh, Have a relation between bread and butter. When one is consumed, another is also consumed. I think these relations are available for analysis for about、uh, OSS. When some of OSS are substitute, developers will shift from one to another. Uh, when some of OSS are complementary, developers will develop the both OSS actively at the same time. Then, this analysis calculated the correlation coefficient between timeline 
of number of commit of two uh, repositories. At the same time, the share rate of developers between two OSS repositories are checked. I think the higher share means uh, the stronger casual, uh, causal relationship. So this is the result. And uh, as an example of the result, the case of Python is shown. This is a part of the result between, uh, ah, Python, not Python, PyTorch. PyTorch, yes. PyTorch and uh, PyTorch and other repositories. And uh, uh, as an interesting result, when, uh, when the top five with a correlation coefficient of 0.4 or higher are checked in descending order of share rate, uh, then TensorFlow, TensorFlow here, TensorFlow uh, is a complementary OSS to Python, Py uh, Python, not Python, PyTorch, <laughs> yes. Next, uh, when the top five with co uh, correlation coefficient of 0 0.4 or lower are checked in this uh, descending order of share rate of developers, then all the OSS repos repositories uh, related to Meta and Torch are uh, substitute for PyTorch. Most of the results are rational. However, uh, when I analyze about uh, Docker and uh, ContainerD, uh, the shift from Docker to container was detected. Uh, also, although uh, I had not known the shift uh, from Docker and to ContainerD, data science gives us the awareness without field knowledge. The third analysis is about key developers and their specialties. Is this, in this analysis, the methodology uses a network again. This network comes from the relations, relations following and uh, followers of accounts on GitHub. So, uh, so on on uh, on the web page of GitHub, there are uh, there are uh, there is inform data of uh, followers and following, and uh, we can get uh, these data uh, via GitHub API, and uh, so. I, in this analysis, I use uh, degree centrality and uh, between centrality, uh, mainly uh, no, degree centrality. Degree centrality means uh, accounts who collect uh, interest from many people. Uh, higher, higher score, higher score of degree centrality means uh, to collect interest from many people. Uh, meanwhile, uh, between this centrality, uh, uh, higher, the higher of uh, between this centrality means uh, bridge to bridge between groups. Okay. Uh, this is methodology. Uh, this analysis uses use centrality after building uh, network. Uh, network uh, network consists of, of uh, following and followers. Uh, 
in computing uh, of this analysis, uh, the more data there are, uh, the longer time, uh, the longer the time is required. Therefore, I wanted to uh, con continue, uh, I wanted to conditions to reduce the amount of data. So this table is uh, a result. Uh, while uh, searching th that conditions, uh, uh, two bars, yes. Leaders uh, two bars, yes. Uh, uh, located at the higher rank here and here, like this. Uh, it means he collect interest from many people. From uh, this result, the red box seems uh, to have a good condition because uh, this, this area uh, does not include two birds and uh, other top account. And this is another, uh, this, uh, uh, this figure come from another analysis. Comparing uh, this an another analysis, uh, that's two, two uh, people account uh, highlighted in the previous slide, uh, two birds, and uh, I cannot read. And two few, and two few. Uh, they are, uh, they are uh, Linux and uh, View Developer, and uh, their project has uh, going on for a long time, and uh, have many, many subscribers. Considering why this condition is good, firstly, account with few followers are considered beginners. Beginners are likely to follow important people in the community. Based on uh, this result and discussion, this condition that reduces the amount of data to compute and uh, are regarded to be useful. Data science can utilize collective intelligence from the lot of people. Okay, uh, this is the latest result, and uh, two words is number one, and uh, yellow, yellow cell is a famous organization here, uh, Microsoft, uh, Facebook, Google. Ah, OpenTOF is here, <laughs> okay. So, um, lastly, uh, there is the sideline findings of this analysis. During uh, investi uh, investigating the top account in the result, I noticed the ex uh, existence of GitHub sponsorship and uh, independent developers. From this, I felt ready for a new work style and found it easier to work independently. That's all, thank you very much.